G'day everyone. I hope you're having a good day wherever you are. Today we're talking about one of my favorite topics, Tom Brady's mental toughness. This is where I think Tom Brady outshines everyone. And I think when you get to that top level of any sport, whether it be NFL, NBA, soccer, tennis, the Olympics, doesn't matter what sport it is, when you get up to that top greatness level, what separates those that are truly great from absolute goat is their mental toughness. And I think for someone like Tom Brady, who's had to work and fight for everything, right from the moment when he left San Sarah High School, he's been fighting to make the team to start, to get recognition for what he does for the team. He's fighting all the excuses and all the haters this whole entire time. So he's had to fight a lot of demons and overcome a ton of obstacles to get where he is. And that's why he's so tough. You know, mental toughness is a big part of sport. And I think we're all dealing with mental toughness to different degrees. And I know our football season has been affected greatly um, through this, um, you know, pandemic. But also understanding that we took a lot of precaution this year and not many people would have thought the NFL would have made it through 256 games. But we all made a big commitment to one, one another and we did it. And um, happy to be able to provide uh, the entertainment that a lot of people still really love. And I think that's been a great thing through all this. Tom is a thug. Y'all don't realize that. Y'all look at the pretty boy <laughs> smile and the shine and the glow on his face. He looks tremendous. Tom is a straight up thug. And he told me at the beginning that's of the this first, year, hey, do you believe? Do you believe? Because, hey, I'm going to kick some butt. And not the, the B word. It wasn't the B word. He said, man, Tom he is asked a thug. If he he with wants him to him beat him. <laughs> yes, and of course I said I'm with you. But Tom is a thug, man. Tom wants to beat the living crap out of you. I don't care about how nice he appears after the game, shaking Aaron Rodgers' hands, looking at Drew Brees in the eyes. He wanted to destroy Drew. He wanted to destroy Aaron. He wants to destroy um, Mahomes. He wants to destroy everybody that he plays against. And don't fall for that, because when I came in there, I knew that, and I went right at Tom. Every single time I got, I don't care if he got frustrated with me jamming the receivers, hitting a guy late, roughing him up. I didn't care. I wanted to get under Tom Brady's skin. Usually quarterbacks stand back here where everybody mm -hmm. jumping, hitting heads, banging heads. You don't see very many quarterbacks getting in the mix. Right. Tom was up in the mix. In the mix. Listen, there, like, it, was, it was different for us. I know I ain't seen it because, you know, Drew, you know, he'd jump up, but he was over there jumping back, back on here yeah, he was back, you know in the back you know pat heads but tom is up in the middle banging everybody's head i just thought that was you know different from a quarterback standpoint he was a wow. part of the team and in, in in so many ways that you would think he's here you mm -hmm. know and there's everybody else you know tom is ingrained in the locker room and, and and it was just an amazing thing it wasn't like a lot of teams where it's the quarterback he's over there you know i got right. the red shirts on and right. can't nobody else mess with them. You know what I mean? I think a huge part of mental toughness is hard work. I think this is so easily and often glossed over because you don't see it. You see the results. You see what happens on Sunday. Um, but you don't see all the hard work that's put into it. And usually when people talk about mental toughness, they really talk about the surface of those words. They really mean not giving up and fighting through. And that's that's absolutely true, but it's not deep enough. It doesn't go into enough depth about what an athlete has to do to become so mentally tough. But a massive part of what mental toughness is and what Brady does is grinding it out when no one is looking. Doing all the work, doing all the things that you're supposed to do when no one is looking and doing it on a consistent daily basis. It's waking up early. It's getting out of bed and putting in the work every day. Even when it's raining, whether it's windy, it's freezing cold. And, you know, Brady's won seven Super Bowls. So I'm sure there's a part of his brain whispering to him that, hey, just stay in bed. It's raining outside. It's freezing right now. It's okay to miss one day. It's okay to skip one training session. It's just one workout. You'll be fine, you'll make up for it tomorrow. But Brady knows that if he listens to that voice, he's cheating the game, he's cheating himself. And he knows how to shut that off. He knows how to beat that voice that's telling him to quit. Those are the moments that build mental toughness. And that's what it means to not give up and to fight through. So when he's down in a game, there's not much time left on the clock. 
and there's a good chance they're going to lose, the average quarterback is ready to give up. But Brady isn't. Brady won't give up. He'll fight right through to the end because he knows that's what he has to do every day already. He's been doing that every morning, every time he doesn't want to. He knows how to fight that voice that's kicking him down. He's trained himself not to accept quitting. He's fought those mental battles many times before and he knows how to beat it. That's Brady. There's an intense pressure. I already feel it last night after that game ended. I mean, it was, you know, I was up watching film all night. So I had a lot of film to watch and uh, I was up pretty late. This is the biggest week of the year for me. So I got everything focused on what we need to do. And, you know, you can't watch enough film on weeks like this. You can't get enough rest. You can't get enough treatment, get enough training or get enough practice. It's all about, you know, what we got to do to be at our best for, you know, the biggest three hours of the season. Well, let me tell you somebody that you're dealing with, somebody that I dealt with many a times. Go home. He has the perfect life for it. His wife running around, his kids running around. He he does not have to move. So when he goes home, he, well, he's been doing it for almost 10 days. He got a click in his hand. And he's clicking. To find, he is, he's clicking. He's clicking. Yep. To find where yep. your weakness is. Yep. And if you, Kevin, are not sitting down clicking like he clicking, <laughs> if he clicking five hours and you clicking one, yep. You ain't winning this battle. Mm -hmm. See, this is a chess player. Mm -hmm. Brady's that, that, that that's what makes this guy so hard to defend because you think he's going to, maybe he come at Kevin. And if he does, guess what? He's going to run down the field. I heard you said earlier. He's going to run down the field and let you know, I'm glad you're talking. I think I process a lot of information really quickly. And the more you give me, the better I usually perform. I watch tape. All day Monday, all day Tuesday. You know, Wednesday we practice, Thursday we practice, Friday we practice, and I come home and I watch film. And then Saturday before the game, I watch film. And then Sunday morning, I watch film. You know, if you want to perform at the highest level, then you've got to prepare at the highest level. All those binders is just logs of information. You'd think we were like launching rockets. Best on go route, stiff and off balance, poor in transition. We took advantage of all those things. Running and lifting has been much harder to develop than this. This has kind of been in me. And then now you think about him being with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Look at what he's done with that culture. Look mm -hmm. at what he's done. Like initially, like I said, look at a couple weekends ago when he played the Green Bay Packers. They look dead in the water. They come out, it's 10 0. And then they go on the real off 38 Low. unanswered points. That's not, I mean, that's, that doesn't happen. You can't right. say that that would have right. happened with Jameis Winston. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen in all of sports. Like, I grew up in Chicago. I, I saw the six championships with Michael Jordan, see what LeBron is doing. But for Tom Brady to go to a new team, not have training camp, not have mini camp, basically limited in practice, babysitting Antonio Brown, doing all the things as a husband, as a father, <laughs> as a provider. I mean, it's just incredible. It's like the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I mean, for a guy to be 43 years old and have that level of mental toughness, it's just, it's just incredible. Most young kids, they do not take time to say, how do you be the master? You must study a master. How do you study a master? It takes a lot of time to study a master. It does. It takes a lot of boring time mm -hmm. to study a master. <clears throat> the one thing him, Tom Brady, and Peyton Manning made me do was sit my behind down. Because I had to figure out how to beat them. Mm -hmm. How? And, and this is what I found out. They're going to find my third corner, and they're going at him all day until I cover him up and stop him. If I change him out for a backer, they're going to check to the slot, put a slot man on them, and then they're going to go to the pack. They're going to find something. And so, when you, and so when you open up this can, what I'm saying is, are you willing to invest the time that it's going to take to beat Tom Brady? Also, Brady isn't afraid to put himself in uncomfortable positions. He knows when he's uncomfortable. He knows that those are the difficult times. And he knows that's when it forces him to learn and to see things from different angles. That's where he gets a greater understanding of how to deal with different di different and difficult circumstances. Brady's always preaching perfect practice makes perfect. 
going out there and training for the sake of training is wrong. You can develop bad habits and people often do. So he takes the time to get it right, to learn the right way to do things. Do you know how hard it is to go through rep after rep, to, to run through those training practices and training techniques in slow, steady state just so that you can get it right. And once you get the mechanics right, then you can play fast and better. But that's so easy to say, but it's absolutely so difficult to do. It requires a ton of patience. And patience is a massive part of being mentally tough. It's so easy to say that, but you try doing that over and over and over again for a consistently long period of time. That's just, it becomes really boring. I can tell you that. And obviously we all know he eats clean and he avoids junk food because he knows that's just going to poison his body and affect his game. He rarely touches alcohol. He's in bed and fast asleep at 9 p.m. Every little thing he does, he's trying to get right because it all adds up. That's sacrifice. That's mental toughness. One thing that, that, that always stuck out to me uh, with, with Tom is his eagerness to learn and get better because he was always like, I used to go down at, at, uh, at six in the morning to run my miles before everybody else get in. Oh. Only other guy down there, I was already in, here come Tom coming in. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And Tom was always the last one to leave. So he's one of the first guys in, one of the last guys out. Mm -hmm. And we used to rip him up. We gave him hell when he first got in there. When we talking, but he will always come back. He's mm -hmm. in the weight room. He's a skinny kid. He spent time in the weight room like he was a, like he was a lineman. You know, so much of what I've done and tried to transform myself into an athlete was you know, doing things that were re really uncomfortable for me. And I was going up against some of the best athletes, some of the guys that, you know, I was always the slowest guy on the team. If we ran, I was last, and I still am today. But it, I run a lot faster than they did than I did when I was 18 years old. So awesome. I think so much is this continuing to understand what your strengths and weaknesses and build on those things. And most importantly for me, when you're a member of a team, to gain the trust and the love and the respect your teammate. Mental toughness is such an important part of athletics. Hey, we ain't done! And it's such an important part of life because you're going to face a lot of adversities and you've got to embrace those challenges and you've got to overcome them. Good, great comeback, guys. The head over there is Tom Brady. The way he takes care of his body, the way he takes care of his mind, how much sleep, no alcohol, hydration, all those different things. And it works. You tell me, uh, you tell me uh, uh, an NFL player or an athlete that has more discipline and more mental toughness than Tom Brady. You just can't find it. But even when Tom Brady is stinking up the joint, because it's been times early in the game, so he's stinking up the joint. But guess what? He hmm. don't stink all game. He going to come back. He, he, figure he, he figures it out. He, yeah. he, he figures it out. So when you put all of that together, it's that mental toughness that allows him to go to the extremes, the extremes that other players can't fathom to get the minutia of the techniques right, doing rep after rep after rep until it's perfect giving up all that great junk food and going out at night and partying with the boys. Instead, he's at home sipping on water and studying film just for the goal of being the best football player that he can possibly be. And he's 43 years old, mind you. Imagine being doing that for that long and being as great as you are and you're still grinding. You're still putting in every little detail of work. That's why Brady reads defenses faster than everyone else. That's why he releases the ball so much faster than any other quarterback. That's why he has pinpoint accuracy. That's why he can play for as long as he has. That's why he's able to go to 10 Super Bowls and win 7 of them. And there's more coming too, by the way. That's why he can come back from being down 28-3 in the Super Bowl. That's why his teammates believe in him. And that's why... To me, Tom Brady is the greatest, most mentally tough athlete ever. He was an unselfish guy. He was a terrific leader. He was one of the most humble guys in the locker room. Yes, as you can see, that that uh, that that effect it worked well with the um, the Bucks. Be careful to wake up a sleeping giant. His That's mentality. Probably the first time he's been called a thug. His mentality. Tom is a thug. He wants to destroy you. He just don't want to beat you. He want to destroy you. Trust me. I played with the guy for six years. Six years. And I've watched his every game that he's played the last 12 years, okay? I do love the fact that 
what separates Tom, and I understand why people put him as now one of the greatest of all time, is because mm-hmm. of the way he wins, the way that he prepares. When, mm-hmm. And you talk about, like I said, some of the no-name receivers that have made names for themselves right, in that yeah. system. As you just alluded to, Ty, he's not going to force the ball. Tom Brady, as the game progresses, he looks right. at matchups. He he right. makes the, he makes the most unt- untimely of plays. Um, especially you can talk about Grunk, Gronkowski. He's right. kind of like he's been his 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 lifeline in a sense, but he realizes that Gronkowski is a nightmare matchup for a number of DBs. Matchup, yeah. mm-hmm. matchup proud linebackers and things of that nature. And I like the fact of his ball placements. He's very cerebral. He's a very Absolutely. smart guy. He's not necessarily a, a, a game manager. All of that, he does that. But it, his, it's so effortless that you don't even notice it. Go back to Atlanta Super Bowl last year, right? Forget who the young kid is. I challenged this young kid. I said, you got two weeks to play against arguably the greatest quarterback of all time. But you headed out to a club. Brady ain't going to no club. He already got the click in his hand. That game in that fourth quarter, you got to ask yourself this question. I watched it. Ain't no way. He out there on pure athleticism. He don't know what a flip means. He don't know what a two-by-two two means. And when Brady takes the back and motion the back out and bring him back in, what he's trying to identify. It's simple, it's simple math when you watch this guy play, but when you ask him why he can play so long, he can play so long because there's no masters out there playing this kid, playing Brady. You got kids who are just on pure athletic mm-hmm. ability. It's a rare moment when a kid will show up at my office saying, I need some support. He says, I want to be the starting quarterback at Michigan. And he had just lost 25 pounds from appendicitis. He was the skinniest kid you ever saw in your life, talking about he wanted to be a quarterback at Michigan. Is his arm as strong as Drew Bledsoe's and all that? No. No. He ain't close. Mm -hmm. Drew Bledsoe had a cannon. You know what I mean? But it was something about his willingness to compete at all times. And he told mm-hmm. me something. He was told me and Lori Malloy, we was going out to our team dinner. We was going out, I think was, we was going to Capitol Grill, the whole team. So we're making the rookies pay, whatever. And that's when Drew had got hurt. And Tom, he, me and Lori was walking. He was like, I ain't giving it back. Mm. You know, that, 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 that was a rookie. out of his mouth. No, no he, was, he wasn't even a rookie yet. I think he was like in the second, second year. Second year? When, okay. when, he, when he first, when, when he was in his second or third year when he, when he got uh, hurt against the Jets. Right, 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 right. Right, against the Jets. So anyway, man, when he said, so me and Lawyer, we looking at him like, you know, oh, that's the spirit. That's how you supposed to go. <laughs> but like, now when the man got $100 million, when he come back, you you, you mm. got to go. You got to sit back mm-hmm. down. Mm-hmm. He, wasn't, he wasn't messing around. And it took Coach Belichick to have, you know, I, could, I, could I say it on the podcast, the balls. Yeah. Absolutely. To do that. <laughs> to do that and, and stick with him. Mm-hmm. And after he, you just gave this man a hundred million dollars. Mm. You know, Tom wasn't messing around. He was like, once he get it, it's it's done. And he has kept it, you know, ever since. But he has that awesome. same mentality from that first year. Then now he's Tom Brady. Now it's like, okay, guess what? Year four, five. Mm. He still had the same thing, mentality. like he, like mentality, like he trying to prove something to somebody. You know, every day his competitiveness mm-hmm. and then willing willingness to lead. Mm-hmm. He'll jump up in your face. Hey, your job is to fight. Don't complain. Don't explain. If you want to cry, if you want to whine, you come in my office. But when you walk out this office, nobody is to see you sweat. Because in this world called football, you'll have a chance to be on the field. Will you be ready? He was in the office every week. <laughs> he, would, he would show up Friday before a game, every game, <laughs> and sit and prepare himself mentally. Remember, we're talking about a 20-year-old guy. This guy was hungry to be the best. He was trainable, coachable, and hungry. I don't think anybody outworks him, and nobody's as competitive as him. I mean, you hear the Jordan stories of Michael Jordan, how competitive he is. Mm-hmm. That's how Tom Brady is, man. That dude don't like to lose or nothing. And if you get him in practice, he coming back at you. You know what I mean? He getting up in your Love face. It. You know, he, 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 hey, he, he a dog, man. Just his, his ability to, to push through and, and to block out the noise and stay single-mindedly focused, I mean... The mental, the mental preparation, you know, is is got to be second to none, and and that's what I really see is just the fortitude to push through and and understand the process will eventually, you know, pay off, and and he got everybody down there to buy in. It's one thing to analyze data, and then it's another to apply it. Cooks is missing. 
Yes. When you finally go up against competition, you're kind of faced with reality. Brady is Thank God there's another game the next Sunday. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe as this would really help me. Cheers.